some punning questions and we're so glad that attorney Rich Shamir is here with us today attorney Shamir how would you define human trafficking cases in other words there's an individual asking about uh, you know this is a very confidential case for this individual and it's about what is forced labor under the human trafficking labor. case. Is that a human trafficking case? Well, not, not always. It could be forced labor. Uh, you have a, a housekeeper working for you, mm -hmm. okay, and you never let her uh, go out. You never let her uh, take a day off. Right. Uh, you, don't, you don't pay their wages, and so on. That's, that's uh, actually forced labor. Mm-hmm. And, and do they... Can they file a case against their former uh, employers? If well, you get a former employer, yes. I see. You can file it. Yeah. A civil case. Yeah. But, but what about if this individual has no documentation? In other words, is also undocumented. So what? Oh, that's it's fine. Undocumented. Yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't have anything to do with that. That's right. Yeah, but you know, they may give you a some sort of an immunity for the time that they are uh, investigating the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. They may do that for the time that they want in case they find the person and they want to persecute him so that they will want to have people that will testify mm -hmm. against that person so they will give an immunity. I see. You know, for the time of the trial or something that, that's been happening. Mm hmm and, and can they work at the same time to be able to provide for themselves while the case usually, is ongoing? Usually, yes. Usually I see. They will, they will leave them alone and, and tell them to wait and work and, and wait for when time is when they're needed in the courthouse. Mm -hmm. uh, how do they go about these cases, Attorney Shamir? Who do they approach with regards to like sex trafficking, forced labor, or domestic servitude? Do they go to an immigration lawyer about this? Do they consult well, with they can go the to agency? The immigration lawyer. Yes. Depends on their own status, what's happening with them. Mm -hmm. With the employers, or you can go to the police. Mm -hmm. That's right. And uh, definitely there is uh, help for them, correct? And uh, there will be extended assistance with regards to their stay in the United States while, as you said, the case is ongoing. They will let them usually stay when they need it. Correct, correct. Um, Attorney Shamir, as you know, uh, Census 2020 is happening. And now there's a question from many individuals who say that they are actually undocumented, but they're working. And they're, if they fill up the, the question, uh, the questionnaire, what happens if they don't fill up the citizenship question? We understand that the DHS will, of course, uh, show sh citizenship data, uh, share the citizenship data with the Census Bureau. But how do they go about filling out the questionnaire? Do you advise them filling out the questionnaire from the Census Bureau or just skip that? Well, it's a good question. What can I tell you? Yeah. I think that I believe that nobody is going to be use, using in a bad way uh, the answers from the Census. Now, see, uh, Trump was very careful and he wanted to distinguish between legals and illegals, okay, and the others refused. So now it's still refused. Uh, what can I tell you? It's going to be up to everybody mm -hmm. to make up their mind what they want to do. Right. But, uh, of course, they always never, they never use this for uh, cases against uh, the undocumented. Is that no, correct? I, I don't think they will, I don't believe they will use it for anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. who knows for sure? Right. Well, that's the answer from Attorney Shamir to our listener on Immigration Update on the Air. Uh, how true is it that now the USCIS is implementing more and more the online uh, you know, applications like for the H-1B registration process and many other things? What about those that mail in their applications? Well, that depends. If they only want you to do, uh, they will say if this can be only done on a computer, then uh -huh. that's the only way you can do it. I see. If, if it says that you can do it either way, or it doesn't have any limitations, then you can do it either way. I see. Uh, in your particular law office, Attorney Shamir, so an individual gets assistance in filing online. You do it for them, correct? If they retain your services. 
Well, we also do a lot of them online. Uh huh. I see. We get all the information and we do them online. But we are very, very careful. Right.